Hello, Aries. Okay, <laughs> welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree, and I'll be doing your money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance reading for the month of January 2020. We're moving into a brand new year as well as a brand new decade. I'm very excited for all the possibilities that I know are coming for you, Aries. For the readings this month, I'll be using my white tarot deck. Uh, for clarifiers, I will use my Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck. And then Aries, I will end your reading with the Wisdom of the Oracle card. If this is your first time catching one of my readings, I do want to welcome you to the channel and I invite you to subscribe because we do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. So January is definitely going to be a Aries I'm feeling like January is really going to be the month where things kind of smooth out things have been kind of all over the place but I'm already starting to get that energy and get that feeling of calmness okay so let's see, there we go. <laughs> what do we need to know for the sign of Aries as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of January in the brand new year, 2020? What else do we need to know for the sign of Aries as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of January in the brand new year 2020? All right, Aries, you're definitely moving into a new phase, into a new chapter of your life, which is very, very, um, I want to say it's easy because we are moving into a new year, you know? Uh, this world card in the upright position signifies the completion of a cycle. It also means that things are definitely going to, um, if anything is left hanging or unfinished or unsettled, you will get closure and you will get completion as we move into this first week of January. We also have the Eight of Wands reverse, Two of Swords upright, Five of Wands upright, Queen of Swords reverse, Seven of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Wands means that things are not gonna happen as quickly as you probably would like them to. Aries, uh, Eight of Wands is all about speed, but when we see this card in the reverse position, it just means that sometimes things are on hold or things are just moving very, very slowly. But sometimes that's not a bad thing because sometimes our mindset needs to catch up <laughs> with our circumstances or with our decisions or with our actions. And I, I'm feeling like that's kind of where you're at, especially because you're moving into the next phase. Remember, the next cycle. Things are slowing down, and then look what comes next, the Two of Swords. This means you are going to be faced with a major decision, and you're not going to have all the information readily accessible to you at the time that you need to make the decision. Now, this isn't something to worry about, because I have a feeling you already feel can sense that this is coming. You already have a sense that you're going to have to make a decision, especially as it relates to your professional, financial, career, work, business life, and you already know that this is coming. You already know that this is something you're going to have to deal with and you're going to have to decide. 
Now we have the five of wands here, which means you're going to be getting a lot of input from people. You're going to be getting a lot of opinions. You're going to be getting a lot of people uh, negotiating, trying to tell you what they want to do, trying to make you feel like, um, oh, you know, this is what you should do, giving you opinions, giving you advice. Just be sure to stand your ground. If you're clear on what your goals are and the direction you want to go, this is nothing more than static noise, okay? The problem is, is if you're not clear and if you're not solid on where you want to go, this can be very troublesome because you're going to be easily influenced. And that's just something that you're going to have to work on, Aries. You're going to have to work on being so solidly grounded in the direction that you want to go and the goals that you want to accomplish. Don't allow yourself to be easily swayed or easily disrupted from your original plan. Now we have the Queen of Swords here in the reverse position. This is someone who's not ready to necessarily cut something off that needs to be let go of. And you already are kind of aware of what this is, Aries. I don't think this is something new. I'm getting the sense that there is someone in your life who needs to be cut off, but you're having trouble cutting him or her off. Uh, it's not because you're a mean person. It's not because you're selfish or you're, you don't want to help. But this person has some type of an attachment to you that you can't seem to let go of. And it has nothing to do with your... Um, abilities professionally or even personally it's just someone who is kind of like leeching on and you have to get to the point that you have to cut this person off otherwise it will hold you back and you're going to have an opportunity to do that in that first week of january i'm getting that very clearly we have the seven of swords here now what's interesting is the seven of swords is about someone being untrustworthy however they're kind of being removed from the picture so there's a connection between these two cards here. There's someone that you need to cut off, but you're having trouble cutting him or her off. But at the same time, you already know that this person is, is kind of not necessarily the best or positive influence for you. And so you do get to the point to where um, you start slowly disconnecting and you start slowly <laughs> moving in a new direction. And this person does start to sense that. And I want to say that while it's not that they're letting go completely, um, they are seeing you as less of a benefit for them. And I'm hoping that makes sense. It's like they kind of come to their own awareness that you're kind of going in this direction and that they have to kind of let go and move in another direction. But this takes time. This is not going to happen suddenly. All right, so what else do we need to know for the sign of Aries as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of January in the new year, 2020? What else do we need to know for the sign of Aries as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of January in the new year 2020? Okay. All right, Aries. Big changes. Where are you going, <laughs> first of all, I should ask? You're going somewhere. You're moving. Uh, you're making, a, you're making a, a trip. You're doing something in that second week of January. I see it right here. Either you're making a decision to move in a brand new direction, or you could literally just be taking a trip that happens in that second week of January, or you find out that you will be taking a trip somewhere or moving somewhere or moving away in that second week of January. It's gonna be good though, because it's followed by the Wheel of Fortune. This is a very positive, lucky card. And when it shows, shows up in the upright position, sometimes it literally means a big windfall of cash. It could also mean that you just win Whatever you're, you're um, working towards or whatever, quote, games that you're playing, 
you're in a winning position. This happens in mid-January. It's very exciting. Like I said, you've got a trip coming and you're also winning big somehow, some way. Now, we do have the moon card, however. Now, the moon card talks about things. <sighs> Something is just not revealed yet, right? There's information that you don't know. There's something that's not being communicated to you 100%. Uh, it could be not someone necessarily lying to you, but it could be someone only giving you half the story or leaving out the important facts. Or sometimes it's just someone deliberately just not telling you something. Now, the interesting thing, though, is that you will find out about this. However, you're not going to find out about it once you hit that second week of January. It's going to be something that takes its time and then as the story unfolds, you'll start to see that things get revealed more and more and more. And I have a feeling it's something related to a, a workflow situation because the Eight of Pentacles in reverse is all about a slowing down of workflow, slowing down of business. Um, Sometimes this is a conscious choice, something that you control. Other times it's something that you can't control. You know, business is slow. Uh, people just aren't buying. Um, maybe the industry that you're in is going through its uh, slow period. Whatever the case may be, workflow will slow down once you hit that second week of January. Now, we also have the Ace of Swords here in the reverse position. This tells me that something that you had planned to start, you're actually gonna just cut out altogether. You're realizing that whatever, uh, maybe a new project or a new business or an idea that you started just is not working out and you've decided you're not gonna put any more time, effort, or energy into it, at least not right now, because you just are just not feeling it. And uh, it's nothing wrong, it's just something that's come to your awareness in the sense that, you know, you're just, you're kind of over it. <laughs> you're just not ready. You're just not ready to uh, work on it anymore at this time. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Aries as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of January 2020 as we move into the new year. Now, while I was talking, you saw this card come out twice. So that tells me that you're definitely ready to move on from something that, you're wor that you were working on. You know, you feel like you've kind of given it all you can give. And you're just, you know, it's time to, it's like, let's scrap it. <laughs> let's move on. Let's do something else. We've got the Tower card here in the upright. We've got the Queen of Pentacles upright. And then the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Let's look at this tower card here. Literally a rebuilding of something. I'm feeling like this could be a professional um, decision here for you, Aries. Uh, if you're not thinking of literally changing industries or changing jobs 100%, then you are going to really be um, kind of in a phase where you just literally, literally break down so you can build up. Now, this may or may not be something you choose to do. This may be a situation that is kind of forced upon you. But this is going to work out for your benefit because you're right next to the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is all about managing her money and managing her energy that creates money. Okay? So while you may be going through a breakdown and a breakthrough, <laughs> trust that it's gonna be very profitable for you, okay? Don't be afraid of this. Don't be scared that you know things are, oh my God, coming to an end. That's not the case at all. As we hit that third week of January, you're gonna see that there's gonna be some big opportunities for you to move, for you to grow, for you to score, for you to make money. You just have to kind of clean some stuff up, all right? Because we already know once January starts, it's a brand new cycle. It's a brand new phase of your life. You're going to hit it big. Second week of January. Luck is more than on your side. Now that we're getting into that third week of January, it's just time to really just kind of put the pieces back into place. 
you know, maybe things happen, something could have gotten misaligned along the way, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that it's bad news. A lot of people tell me they get afraid when they see that tower card. And I always say, no, no, no. <laughs> this is good news because it means that you're literally getting stuff out of the way that doesn't need to be there. Now, sometimes that happens in a painful way, yes. But it doesn't mean that you're not better off because of it, okay? Uh, we also have the Queen of Cups here in the reverse. This tells me that you're going to probably get a little bit overly emotional during this time. You know, you're going to be a little hypersensitive once we hit that third week of January, Aries. You know, you're going to be feeling like, um, you're going to be feeling, <laughs> you know, very, very um, sensitive. I can't think of any other word. You're going to be really touchy and you're going to be very guarded about your feelings, okay? And that's normal, you know, when you go through this period of trying to get things in order for yourself and for your life and for your work and for your money, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with being a little touchy, you know, and trying to just kind of maybe just keep your distance from people who could trigger certain feelings or, or certain actions from you, you know, um, just know that you're going to be just a little bit more hypersensitive as we move into that third week of January. And it's nothing to make apologies for, and it's nothing to be ashamed of, and it's nothing that you have to defend or explain, okay? It's just, it is what it is. Now we have the two of pentacles here, which means you're going to have money coming in from several sources and you're going to have to figure out how to manage this because it's not just managing money, but it's also managing spending. It's managing your time. It's managing your budget, your finances, and you're going to be going through that as we hit the second half of January. Okay. And it's not going to be, um, it's not going to be where it's an overwhelming thing. It's just going to be like, you know, wow, now I really need to pay attention to this. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Aries as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of January 2020, in that new year. Wow. Wow. All right, Aries, get ready because things are happening and they're happening quick. Let's see. All right, Aries. I mean, big things are happening for you. And like I said, they're happening quite fast. We have the Seven of Cups reverse. We have the High Priestess upright, Knight of Swords upright, Chariot upright. These are the speed cards in the whole entire deck these two cards mean speed moving forward quickly unrelentless pushing forward pushing through action and you've got them right next to each other in the last week of january that's why i'm saying big things are happening and big things are happening for you quickly we also have the death card in the reverse again major change is coming major transformation especially as it relates to work life um professional life your money but let's start here with the seven of cups in the reverse you're not going to have a whole lot of things in front of you that you need to worry about you're really only going to have one or two projects that need your attention as we close out the month of January in the new year. All right, Aries, so don't feel like, um, you know, you've gotta take care of everything all at once. You may feel a little overwhelmed. That's gonna settle itself out as we move towards the end of January. Now, we also have the High Priestess here in the upright position. You're really going to have to trust yourself. You're going to have to tap into your intuition and your inner guidance. And you're really going to have to really go with your gut, okay? Because things are moving too quickly for you to kind of uh, logically explain them, okay? Things are just going to move very, very fast. Now, I'm feeling like these are business or work opportunities here. Uh, maybe an offer is going to come your way and you have to decide within 24 hours. 
um, or maybe something happens uh, at work and you have to you have to decide okay let's do it let's move let's go uh, something's gonna happen very very quickly and you're not gonna have a whole lot of time to think about it so you are going to have to trust and rely on your own inner guidance your own inner wisdom and finally, we have the death card in the reverse. This tells me that big changes are coming. However, you're going to be able to handle it. It's not going to be something that totally blindsides you. Um, but, you know, you can feel that these changes are probably going to happen in stages, right? It's not going to be like an overnight thing, but uh, big changes are definitely coming. And you're probably going to feel and sense more of that as we move into February, but you're gonna start feeling it at the end of January. So overall, Aries, you've got a lot of good things happening here. You've got some big changes and some big shifts to make, uh, you know, especially as it relates to work and your career and your business. And you're also gonna feel, like I said, a little sensitive, a little, a little touchy towards the second half of January. But again, that's nothing to worry about. It's nothing to explain. Um, it's just, it's just what you're going through. So let's go ahead and close out your reading with a wisdom of the oracle card. Oh, milk and honey. Now that's a beautiful card. Milk and honey is all about being in the, the land of abundance, fruitfulness, uh, definitely enjoying prosperity, enjoying riches. And you are going to be feeling that, especially in the beginning, first half of January, Aries. You know, it's almost like being in a state of flow. It's like you don't have to put a whole lot of effort into things. You just kind of go with the flow. And I want you to remember that as we move into this new month, into this new year, because flow is definitely going to be uh, the underlying energy that really moves you forward. All right, Aries, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like to get a private reading, those are available. I will have all the information linked in the description below. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those down in the comment section below. All right, Aries, thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me. I'll definitely see you again soon.